Good morning everyone, my name is Cyprian and today we are going to be making these really squishy, thick and light scrubby dishcloths. If you've ever tried to work with this yarn and had difficulty, stick around for this video. We're making a few tweaks that make it super easy to work with and the end result is completely worth it. These can be used in the kitchen as dishcloths. However, I love to use mine in the shower. It feels like a loofah and it's scratchy and it just feels so good. Anyways, we are ready to get started. So just gather your yarn. You'll need one skein of the scrubby, one of Handicrafter, and we will be using an eight millimeter hook for this pattern. It works up super fast because with the big hook, we're actually going to be crocheting with half the amount of stitches. So gather up your supplies and make sure you join me and make this. You are going to love it. Anyway, for demonstration today, I'm going to be using the jelly along with the lavender yarn. So the first thing that we're going to be doing, oh, sorry, in an eight millimeter hook. So we go up a size and hook, which is fantastic because these work up so quickly with an eight millimeter. Um, to start, we are just going to be finding the end and we're just gonna go through, and this is the easiest, well, you don't have to roll it into a ball. I just find it moves a lot quicker when I do. So I'm just gonna hold those two together and start winding. So I'm gonna wind this into a big ball and then meet up and we will start with the cloth. Um, if you have a yarn bowl, this is like the perfect time to use it. I've had mine a long time and I don't use it a ton, but whenever I make these projects where I'm rolling the balls of yarn, it makes such a big difference. Okay, so we're gonna get started now. Just um, take your two strands, keep working those together with an eight millimeter hook and start with a slip knot. Now this dishcloth is gonna measure nine inches by nine inches, and I start with 21 stitches. If you want to make a larger or smaller cloth, just adjust your starting chain and keep it a multiple of two plus one. So if you're new to crochet, in other words, keep the starting chain divisible by two, and then add one extra stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna chain uh, 21 stitches, and keep them loose because it's gonna make it a lot easier to work with this yarn when you see that the stitches are nice and big. And there you go. So I am going to work up my chain of 21 and then we'll get back, meet back and start the first row. Okay, so I have 21 stitches and I'm gonna start by working a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So just remember that this isn't a completed chain, it's just a loop, so we're gonna count down one and then two. Now, when you're working into this loop, make sure that you're going, you're catching or going underneath both, both those yarns, so the scrubby and the regular. So let's just yarn over and right into that second loop and yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and through, I guess, three loops. So six strands of yarn. In the next chain, we're gonna work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull it through the loop. And then we're gonna work half double crochet beside that slip stitch in the next chain. If you're having problems finding your chain, just open it up with your fingers insert it in, yarn over, up, around, and through the three loops, okay? Then we are gonna work a slip stitch in the next stitch. So through that loop, and I'm keeping my tension really, really loose. Yarn over, through the next. So we're working a half double crochet in the next stitch, a slip stitch in the next, followed by half double crochet. And this is the pattern, the repeat pattern, all the way across. So you can work all the way across to the last chain, re chain blah, repeating half double crochet and slip stitch. So we're gonna work a half double crochet, followed by a slip stitch. Okay, so I'll just finish off this row and meet up with you at the end. And that's how it should be looking so far. It's pretty cute, eh? <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just working into my very last stitch, which will be a slip stitch. And then we are going to chain one and turn. Now for row two, we're gonna be working half double crochets into the slip stitches and slip stitches into the half double crochets. So there's an easy way to keep track of this. You can see here, although be it difficult with the yarn, there's a little diagonal line. That means that you've done a half double crochet on the other side. Then there's these smaller stitches. Those are the slip stitches. So we are gonna be working a half double crochet into that very first stitch, which was our last stitch of the previous row, which was a slip stitch. Then here you'll see the diagonal line. That means that you wanna work a slip stitch. So make sure that you're going under both of these loops here. So you're gonna go above the diagonal and under those two loops. And we're gonna make a slip stitch. So you're just gonna do yarn over and pull that through. Your next stitch here is a smaller one. So that means we're gonna do a half double crochet into there. And then look for that diagonal line. And it is hard because it's the scrubby yarn. And you're gonna go under those two loops with a slip stitch. And we'll do that another. So the next one's a small one. So that's your slip stitch from the row before. We're gonna work a half double crochet into that slip stitch. Oops, that didn't work so good. Half double crochet. And then a slip stitch into the next. So just repeat that pattern all the way to the end. But you can see there, you see the, the texture already coming up. So I am gonna pause the video, finish this row, and then we'll meet up. Okay, so I'm at the end of round two here, and I'm gonna be finishing, or sorry, row two, and I'm gonna be finishing this one up with a half double crochet. And then we're just gonna chain one and turn. And exactly as before, well, not exactly, but we're gonna be working the slip stitches into the half double crochet. So you can see my half double crochet there. So just insert the hook and make that slip stitch followed by a half double crochet. So all you need to remember is just to work the stitches opposite to the row before. So if it's a half double crochet, you're gonna work a slip stitch in. So this is the pattern repeat. So for the rest of the pattern, you're basically going to be repeating rows two and three. But the most important thing so that you don't lose track of your stitches is that if you end one row with a slip stitch, you're starting the next row with a half double crochet and vice versa. I'll pop the instructions in the into the video, but this is going to be the easiest way for you to remember. So just work until 22 rows or until your dishcloth is a square. Okay, so I'm just finishing mine off with a half double crochet in the last stitch. Mine's 22 rows. Yours may be different depending on your starting chain, but that's everything. I think it looks great the way it is. I'm not gonna do an edging. I'm just gonna fasten off, sew in my ends, and call it a day. Anyways, that's it for now, and until next time, bye-bye. skin is so dry, oh my gosh. It just feels like, is that, is that too much information? I don't know. Anyway.